This is Hawaii News Now. And only on Hawaii News Now, a Honolulu police officer who was once fired, then rehired, is now facing a demotion. But even that's reversible. As Kiyoki Kerr reports, it's all tied to a heated confrontation caught on camera. This officer here is trying to start a fight, and it's all I'm trying to do is talk to another officer. Okay, I'll talk. This is the video posted on YouTube back in March by Chris Smith, who says he was being harassed by HPD Sergeant Larry Oliva outside the main police station as he tried to file a complaint against him. You can see other officers here trying to get Oliva to back off. Why are you harassing people over there? What the hell, man? He's doing the job. Serious. Why? Why are you being like this? Why are you harassing people? I'm not doing anything. Huh? I'm asking you to and stop. Using I'm asking you to stop. I'm asking you to stop. I'm asking you to stop. The confrontation started when the sergeant and Smith got into some kind of disagreement after Smith was trying to help move the car of a deoccupied protester at Thomas Square before it got towed during rush hour. It's unclear from the video exactly what happened in that Thomas Square incident. Sources say Oliva is a 28-year police veteran, and he was not fired because of this incident. Instead, sources say HPD managers want to demote him one rank from sergeant to corporal and suspend him without pay for about 10 days. But sources caution that's far from final because Oliva is appealing that discipline, a process that could take months or even years. Brian Brazier is the attorney for the man who took the video and says Oliva should lose his job. I don't think that he's somebody who really needs to be on the streets. I've had interactions with him myself, and he's assaulted me personally. And, um, you know, the purpose of our police department seems to be and should be to protect and serve. And I don't think he does a very good job at either one of those. In a separate incident several years ago, Oliva was fired from the force for assaulting a male prisoner who he had arrested shortly after the man was released from the cell block at police headquarters. But police union officials say Oliva challenged his firing in the previous case and got his job back. A police department spokeswoman confirmed an internal investigation into the incident but said the department cannot comment on disciplinary action. HPD will only disclose if an officer has been fired and will only do that after the appeals process is completed. Kyoki Kerr, Hawaii News Now.